Hello, and um, welcome to my uh, blood types video. And as I said today, I'm going to be talking about blood types. So, I made a little video to explain blood types. Now, I'm going to be talking about the ABO blood system. Uh, it's essentially the most common blood system, and you most probably um, have a blood um, group. You are most probably in a blood group that's ABO because the other systems are very, very rare to find. So first of all, I'm going to be talking about just um, basic blood cells. So there's four types of blood cells you can have. You can have type A, you can have type B, you can type you can have type A and B, or you can type have type O, which is what I have. Now, type A has A antigens and B antibodies. So, A cannot receive any blood from someone that's a B. And B has B antigens and A antibodies. So, a person with a B blood group group cannot get a donation of blood from someone that has A. And type AB is a mix of A and B, but it has no antibodies. So it has A and B antigens, but no antibodies. Which means that it can receive from anyone, but it cannot give to anyone. And type O blood cells is the exact opposite. It has no antigens, which means no one can develop antibodies against O, but it has A and B antibodies, so it cannot receive donations from anyone else. So let's continue and let me tell you what antigens and antibodies are. So let's take this for example. This is a germ right here, and this is the antigen on it. This is the antibody that your immune system develops to hook on to the antigen, therefore killing the germ. So, what's happening is, let's say you have type A blood and you got, you got a donation with someone that has type B blood, which is going to be impossible and no one will ever do that, but if you did, what would happen is the body would think that the blood is a bat is a germ because it has an antigen that the body does not recognize as I'm as I'm showing you here. So there's these antibodies from type A, antibodies from type B. What they're going to do is they're going to hook onto the end of the blood cells. So A and B they hook on, they kill the blood, creating a blood cl clottage uh, in the veins, therefore stopping your blood flow and most probably killing you. So, A, B, let's talk about A, B. A and B is a mix of A and B, but it has no antibodies. If it had A anti-A anti antibodies, then it would attack the A itself. And if it had anti-B antibodies, it would attack the B part of the cell itself. So it would be attacking itself in a way. So that's why, since it has no antibo an antibodies, anyone can give to the AB. So this is a little animation that would describe what would happen if um, it had anti-B antibodies or anti-A antibodies, which won't happen. So the anti-B antibody that it, the system itself already has would hook on, and the anti-A would also hook on, creating an immune reaction, therefore stopping your blood flow, again, most probably killing you. Now, O has no antigens on the surface, so there cannot be any anti-O antibodies. So O can give to anyone. But the thing is that O doesn't recognize any other antigen, it isn't in contact uh, during birth with any other antigen, so it develops antibodies against both the A and the B antigen. So if uh, so, if uh, a O blood group person is donated by any other blood type, 
because A B is a mix of A and B and it has antibodies against A and antibodies against B, then it's going to cause an allergic reaction, therefore killing you.